Hello everybody and welcome to Rest in Reason. I'm RP the Red Panda and today I'm going to be introducing a brand new series, Game vs. Game. Now, this will look at games that have the same main mechanic but implement it in different ways. And in the end, I'm going to be trying to look at which one is the better of the two. Now, I will in my summary try to get into maybe even though this game is worse it might still have a place on your shelf if this. So I'll always try to make sure to give a game its due if it does deserve a place on some people's shelves. But ultimately, this is focused on which one of these two does this main mechanic better. So today we're going to be looking at Space Lion and Air, Land, and Sea. Now, Air, Land, and Sea, you probably recognize it's a pretty famous game, but Space Lion is one that I got special from Solus Game Studio. It's, I believe, a brand new game studio, and this is one of their brand new games they're gonna be putting out through Kickstarter in, I believe, the next couple of months. And I found that these two shared the same main mechanic, and actually, I found myself in both of them thinking of the other one and trying to compare them. So let's get into what main mechanic do these two games share. And the main mechanic is lane control. Now, lane control is a subset of area control. So area control differs from lane control in that lane control is more often used in card games. And the reason for this is because in a card game, you can't have a board as easily you can't have a grid as easily to fight over like with most area control games in a card game it works a lot easier to have lanes now a lane is where you place cards to fight other cards in that lane so this is the basic way that lane games work you place cards into lanes to beat other cards to then gain domination over those lanes thus getting you victory or closer to final victory we are going to look at which one of these two does this better. Round one, endurance, replayability, Space Lion wins. And I believe that Space Lion wins this because it has asymmetric factions. And it also can be played two to four players, whereas Air, Land, and Sea can only be played with two players. So that means you're going to get it off your shelf more often. Master Ability, Space Lion wins. And the reason Space Lion wins again is because this is a game where there is, from what I can see, no luck whatsoever. Whereas Air, Land, and Sea, you sometimes are going to get pretty unlucky in the cards you get from your starting hand because it's completely random. So it's not a major hit. This is still a very masterable game, but... Ultimately, this one you could 100% master, whereas this one, Lux sometimes just going to screw you over. Round one, Space Lion. Round two, Design, Novelty. Air, Land, and Sea wins. Because Air, Land, and Sea was one of the first games I know of to really shine in lane control. And... Space Lion honestly just kind of takes Air, Land, and Sea and adds a little bit of asymmetry. And I don't really count asymmetry as a very big change to a game or an innovation. It really is a very basic innovation to a game. So I do believe that the older of the two, Air, Land, and Sea, should win out on this one. Synergy. Space Lion wins! I believe that Space Lion does this because every single card for the most part really worked together there was only like one card that me and the other playtesters were thinking uh that one seems a little bit weaker than the other ones whereas in air land and sea i noticed quite a few cards that were just quite a bit better than any of the other cards and it was pretty apparent just from a couple playthroughs of the game tie round two round three audience simplicity Air, Land, and Sea wins! And the reason Air, Land, and Sea wins this one is because the asymmetry in almost any game is going to add complexity. It just means you have to, every time you play, rethink both what you're doing 
and what your opponent's doing because they might be playing a different faction than you played against last time. So now you have to rethink your strategy to fight that group. Or maybe you're playing a new faction and you have to rethink that group. So all around, this game can be played with anybody who can read. And this game, you're probably going to want it more for medium board gamers, intermediate level people. Universality. Space Lion wins! And the reason I believe that Space Lion wins this category is because Space Lion really is just a very appealing art style. A very appealing game mechanic, and it really takes lane control and makes it feel just like League of Legends. And as we all know, League of Legends is incredibly popular. If I were going to pitch this to especially a kid and say, hey, or a, a millennial and say, hey, you should play this game i would mention league of legends as one of the examples of why now of course i'm sure i'm going to get comments saying other games that do lane control with video games please put those down there i'd love to hear what games you have as well because i'm an old geezer who only remembers league of legends for this one round three tie round four theme mechanical theme space lion and air land and sea tie the reason these two tie on this one is because they both really capture what they wanted to capture for the most part. They're not perfect at it, they're not stupendous at it, but they really do capture the feeling of fighting a war or fighting a battle with overpowered heroes, whichever one they're going for, respectively. And so I thought that a tie was the only logical place to go with this. Art! Space Lion wins! Now, Space Lion wins artistic theme, as you can see just from the boxes. This is the art you get on every single card in Space Lion. And really, this is the art you get on every single card in Air, Land, and Sea. And you can see, this is straight out of a graphic novel. This really captures the art style these guys were going for. Whereas Air, Land, and Sea, it looks pretty good, but it just has that smidge of almost cartoonishness that doesn't quite match the seriousness of the game. Round four, Space Lion wins. Round five, Entertainment, Thought, Space Lion wins. Not only are you going to end every game of Space Lion going, okay, what move was the one that made me lose this? But you're also going to be wondering, how can I win this next time? How can I not make that same mistake and win? On top of that, there are four different factions in this box that play four different ways. So there are just so many different ways that you're going to have to think about every game every time that you're just going to want to take out a new faction. You're going to want to face a new faction with your old faction. You're going to want to do more things in this game and think it through more. Energy. Space Lion wins. Although both of these did really good on energy and they're both really tense and fun strategy duels ultimately space lion is the one where i ended the game and my play testers ended the game and we said let's do that again wow what what happened there why did you win why did i lose and that i know i already mentioned it in the thought area but because the energy of this game really is about thought and really is about clashing you really do get that feeling whenever you clash in this game. You get the feeling of, oh, is this going to be the time I win? Or is this going to be the time that I made a mistake that loses me the game? Round five, Space Lion wins. Victor, total score. Air, Land, and Sea, 3.3. Space Lion 4.0 so space lion gets our gold recliner so air land and sea gets our silver recliner space lion wins when it comes to lane control games this i believe at, or at least of the ones i have played is the greatest of all time it is the one that i would hands down recommend if you want a lane control area control game this is the game to get and i would say if you want just a card based conflict game in general this is the best card based conflict game i have ever played i know i didn't get deep into what space lion is but i do want to real quick since it is a brand new game open up the box and just reveal some of the stuff you're going to be looking at 
there are just so many cool things like i said it's looking at a manga book basically the pieces the boards are a high quality piece and it is just a really fun and fantastic game so i would highly encourage you look this game up right now when it comes out on Kickstarter, watch their video trailer and get behind it when it gets on Kickstarter because you will not want to miss this one. Air, Land, and Sea, it's definitely a game that I would recommend to anybody who has that person in their life that they love to play a one-on-one -on -one card battle game. If you have that person in your life, then Air, Land, and Sea is just such an amazing game that you could play with that person anywhere, anytime, and have fun. It's especially good with people who like war but don't want to go to the full difficulty level of Space Lion. This is a beginner board game for two players. This is an intermediate board game for two to four players. And truly, this one shines a little bit brighter than this one in the beginner category. But overall, I would say that Space Lion is the clear victor between these two. All right, so I would love to hear feedback on what do you think of Airland and Sea? What do you think of Space Lion if you've gotten the chance to play it or just from hearing about it today? And as always, please hit that subscribe button. It means a lot to me to know that you guys appreciate this and to know that you plan to watch these in the future. And as always, thank you so much for joining us today on Rest in Reason.